Okay, so as you've read my bio, all that stuff right there, I'm just Lisa, a country girl from Hartsville, South Carolina, who just happened to move to Charlotte and who just happened to apply to what I learned and the things that I was born with that my parents told me outside my family. Go ahead. Hi. Hey. Tools and techniques to strengthen the education because it, it is it is a journey, right? Mm -hmm. It really is. Absolutely. When I started school in 2011, I had graduated. I did. Yeah. I did. Yeah. I walked. I, I was so excited, so excited. But it wasn't easy. I, I will say that. I had to give up a lot, a lot of what I wanted to do to make this. Brings me to my first slide. You know, we like animation, right? Here. All right. So, it's important to remember your why. Why did you start school? Oh, I like that she's taking notes. <laughs> I'm an educator too, so I, I, like this, I like stuff like that. I like to see interaction. You know, you're paying for this, right? Yeah. Let's be interactive. Remember your why. Money cannot be your motivation for school. Because what happened when you graduate like me and you got a $63,000 student loan and you still make me actually make less now than I did when I started school. So money certainly was not my motivation. So it can't be yours. It's got to be bigger than I know that's kind of disappointing, isn't it? Yeah. But y'all already know how this is y'all want it, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of people in school going just through the same thing, so that means you have to make yourself marketable. Family can't be your motivator either. That is true. Because they whip you today and they take me to bar because you don't have time for me today. That's true. Right? And not only that, they really they love you just bring us back to our children. Who has children? <coughs> yeah. I can't say I went to school for my 35-year-old son. I can't say that. Oh, I went to school so that he could see I could do this. No, he's 35 now. I don't think it matters <laughs> whether I can do it or not. You know? I didn't go to school for the 15-year-old. My 15, I didn't go to school for him either. You know why? He likes me being hungry. I mean, I'm, he likes swimming swimsuits and things like that for me because he's expensive and he's been expensive for, since he was 20 months. But he still calls me his sister. He, he doesn't care that I'm in college. I just know that she's not here and I gotta eat hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> there is no chicken. <laughs> you see how tall Max is? There's no chicken, there's no rice and gravy, and there's no string beans and no Kool-Aid. And when she gets home, I'm in the bed. And he's gonna say, Miss Lisa, we ate hot dogs last night. <laughs> saying, I wish you were here. That's what he's saying. We had to eat hot dogs because you were at school. <laughs> it's all about you. You have When it comes to certain things in your life. I'm, I mean, I'm selfish, but I'm not a selfish person. I'm very driven. Yes, you are. I'm so green with that. <laughs> <laughs> Something else I want to talk about. Y'all heard of this before? How important is this in your studies? Very. And why is that? Learn that in orientation. I went to university with you, and we learned that in orientation. We've got.
God and know how you show up. When I tell her to take that pen out, I was like, that is me. I don't have no pad. I don't have a pencil. I carry one in my bag. I sit on the front of everything. There is nothing backwards about me. I sat with the mothers on Sunday. Bless you. Bless you, because my husband told me I couldn't sit with me. <laughs> you know what I'm about to do. Yes, I do. I'm going to have to edit that out the video. <laughs> Visual. Learn through seeing. Right? Yes. So that means you got to come to class, I got to see the teacher, I got to raise my hand, and I got to ask questions. Because if I do it online, what's going to happen? I'm not gonna learn anything. So I gotta come in here and we gotta have some conversations and we gotta talk. I'm that girl. I'm holding hands, feet, stop, er, time out. I didn't get that. Can you remember now? I'm a adult woman. Correct? So that means we don't learn the same way we learned when we were in high school. It's so different now. Plus, you got life on your brain. Everything that happened on the job today. Yeah, some of us got some real stuff going on. <coughs> Which means we have to cast it somewhere else. When you come in, as a manager, I would tell staff, okay, now when you walk through the door, door you got to leave it outside. Because I need 100% today. Even if that 100 is 50, give me all you got. And as a student, even if that 100 is 50, Give it the best 50 you got when you walk through the door. Because most of you work today, correct? Mm -hmm. And then you came in later. So you got to give it the best. Right? Auditorium. We learn through listening. So you come to class and you're not taking notes like um, Gerald, Geraldine. <laughs> not too bad. But you hear it. My coworker. Is 26 and she's in school. And I said, um, Why her school going? She wanted to be with us, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, and They call me Miss Tracy. Miss Tracy, I got this paper to do and I've only had one paper. I said, Well, how many papers you doing right? She said, I don't know, but it's like 12 on the word. I said, Well, you need to get to writing. She said, I, I, I can't read it. I, I have, I don't really, I have to record it. I can't read and get it. Learn it. She didn't write that paper in there. She couldn't get past first paragraph. Because she couldn't read it. She couldn't read the book and understand reading comprehension. Y'all remember that from school? Reading comprehension. She couldn't get it. And there was no tape recorder. Because I don't, at Phoenix, we couldn't record our classes. We couldn't record the lecture. So that she missed it. I said, so what's your plan going forward? They need some help. I'm here to help you. So she told me to reach out. Kevin Steady. So you know that's doing. That's that OJT, on the job training. Most people that do Kevin Steady, they have to do this in uh, probably like an ADD. Can't sit long, right? It's hard to be in class and teachers talking and lecturing you going on and on and blah and blah and the students have no involvement. Then you find them and they get their cell phones out because they have to be doing. Any doers in here? Yeah. Got those doers. Even though you have your pen and you can pen and your pencil, you still can't. I do. I, can I get up and do a demonstration? Can I get up and talk about it with you? That's why I'm so good as a student to study and know it as well. Because when the teacher asks you questions, now you can raise your hands and run your mouth and, and move stuff around. But everybody knows their learning styles, correct? Read a writer. You are the reader and the highlighter. Oh, my stuff was highlighted. I printed every book online. Every book. And I made you a binder. <laughs> you paying for it? You're that <laughs> 
Yeah, you were paying for that paper. You got to pay for the degree and you got to pay the print. You got to do it the old-fashioned way. Yeah, you got to study for a test. You got to do it by your notes. Mm -hmm. There was no Google. No, it's not Google there. <laughs> no, there was no. It's not. And what it doesn't it? exist. They don't exactly. have it. Exactly. You can Google and find the answers while you're taking your test online. <laughs> don't play. No. Well, Phoenix, because the answers are there. The answers are online. Because some student posted their answers to the Arabic exam, but you had to pay for. You know it wasn't free. Please Can do not give them. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Like Jer 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 said, we was. I used to have to sign, and I used to was an educator at No Mind as well. So I taught corporate training, new hires, and five hundred students or so. And I had a sign on my wall in the class: "Reading is fundamental." find this hard to do? What's the, what's the trouble here? What, what are we talking? Let's talk about it. Sit down and do it. Finding the time. Finding the time. Uh huh, uh huh. What, what else? If I want to do it, I'll do it. If you don't want to do it, you won't do it? I'll do it anyway. <laughs> I'll do it anyway. Even if you don't want to do it. Yeah, I'll do it. You know why? Service places, right? Mm -hmm. Right, teachers? Because mm -hmm. you're going to get tested. <laughs> For sure. For sure. <laughs> and all that stuff I was doing, and my hair falling out, you know? Get involved in class discussions, because I find when you get involved with the discussions, you kind of remember what you talked about. And you go back and you say, remember, I remember when Ms. Parker said this in class. That's right, we talked about this in class, but if you just sit back and don't get involved, then you're not gonna get anything out of it. That's with anything. If you just sit back and watch everybody else playing the game and you sitting on the bench, what would you get out of it? Nothing. Nothing. Right? It's the same thing in class. If you just sit back and let the front row talk and the back row says nothing, the back row's going to be empty and the front row's going to be full. You get in what you put in. If you put in involvement, you're going to walk out the door and you might be excited about the assignment. Even if it is now. <laughs> Reinforce what 
what you've learned during the day. Now, on my job, I have a very, very, very relaxed working environment. <laughs> your call to receive your call. <laughs> William, will you turn it off for me, please? Prepare for class. Don't come to class like my, my co-worker, Laura, and not have your homework. Don't, don't. Because who suffers in the end? You. No, the teacher doesn't suffer at all. <laughs> She's going to have a problem using you as else. A zero is real easy. <laughs> and, and, and you know what? Did she give you an F? No. no. You, you earned it. That F for real. Like, did you? They fired me. No, you fired yourself. <laughs> why they fire you? I don't know why they fired me. <laughs> you know what you need. You came in late five times straight. <laughs> you know, three occurrences, you're out the door. Fourth occurrence, what happened? Why are you surprised? You know, so why are you surprised you got an F when you didn't prepare? And preparing doesn't start an hour before class. Nope. Preparing starts at night when you walk out of this classroom. Mm. That's preparing. Crazy, right? Yeah. See, I'm, I'm, I'm the nerd that printed the assignments and books ahead of time. While I'm in the resource center, just go ahead and print them. Make other books on the word. Mm -hmm. Use the color print and make them look all pretty. Like that. <laughs> okay. The benefits of work. Get a sense of progress. So when it's done, man, I, you know, I didn't think I was going to be able to write this paper. And there are some papers that we had to mm, write, mm, mm. and I'm like, I don't even know where to start, Lord, just give me where to go. Just give me where to go. Just give me where to go. What, what, where do I start? So I just sit at the computer in the kitchen, and it's outside that door in the kitchen. Put my earphones on, and go out. And then next thing you know, I got too many words, and I got to pull back. Because some teachers want you to stay within that word count. If you go too far out, you get penalized. Yeah. So I just pulled back a little bit. So now what part of this do I want to take out? Well, it's all kind of important. Well, you're going to have to edit. Editing is important. So with that being said, let's see. Set the mood. Set your mood. Not your mood for love, either. <laughs> Set your mood. What does setting the mood mean? Get what do you all think setting the mood? Get your surroundings yeah. like you need it for studying. Absolutely. 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 Set the mood for studying. Find a quiet space at home. Kitchen, office, den, bedroom, library, school, study hall, whatever. Whatever you need to do. For me, and I have a nice size desk. I couldn't do it in my I couldn't do it in my study. I couldn't. I went back in the kitchen. And Master said, Miss Lisa, why are you in the kitchen? And you're not cooking. I said, Well, baby, this is what I do there. I do my I write I wrote the book in the kitchen. Because that I don't know, it's just something about the kitchen. It's like home. I guess. Mm -hmm. 
grandma's chicken is smelling in the kitchen. And then I, when I was cooking, I was able to get up and monitor the food and then get back to the computer. So, you know, create a, create a study space with everything you need. Calculator, pens, pads, whatever you need. You don't have to go and say, do you, do you have an eraser or do you have a sharpener? I can't find my ink pens. I knew I had my tape here, blah, blah, blah. Even if you have to lock it up, because you got people that do their space as well. For me, we all have, my husband has his space, Max has his space, and I have mine. We all have what we need in our area. I didn't have to get up and look for anything. It was right there in my basket on the kitchen table. So when I did move, if I did decide to go to the desk for a little while, I take my basket with all my goodies and I move to the desk. And then when I went to go back to the kitchen, I took it right to my basket. I'm, I'm organized. this reductive distraction. <coughs> Y'all heard that word before? Reductive distraction. I put my headphones on, I go into Netflix or Hulu and find me a good action movie. I'm not watching it, it's just the noise. Anybody's like that? Uh -oh. I am. <laughs> I do it at work. Yeah, it's, it's just the noise. I've written best papers with noise. Just noise. Max does it that way. Noise. I don't know what brings me in. I'm not watching. I'm not picking up the phone and, oh, damn, that's right. No, I'm like, as a matter of fact, it's like this. Headphones on. Does that make sense? Not sitting watching TV, though. <laughs> not sitting and watching TV. <laughs> So you got the feet kicked up. Who does homework on the sofa? No. <laughs> but if that's your comfort place and you can really get it done without falling asleep. <laughs> if you can get it done on the sofa without falling asleep, then make it happen. But I found sitting on the sofa and doing homework, not at work. For me, <laughs> for some of you too, I see some of you saying like, no, what happens? I got two more. What's gonna happen? You're just chilling. You need to be upright with your hands and your elbows out like this. Ready to work. Ready to work. I lay back on the bed. No, <laughs> what's gonna happen? You're gonna fall asleep. Yeah. You're gonna fall asleep. It's gonna happen. I already know. It's gonna happen. Yeah, like the paper print. <laughs> 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 Set attainable goals. How many of you have perhaps said, I'm going to get this? First of all, who was a planner to you? Uh, oh. Planner. Mm -hmm. Planner. Teacher, planner. Student planners? Yeah? Work planner. In my head, yes. Yeah. Paper, yeah. But not practice. So, set attainable goals. Set attainable goals. Don't say, I'm going to get this, and I'm going to get this, and I'm going to get this. And then you get nothing. 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 Right? So, when it comes to your homework, don't wait until the last minute to do your homework. I believe that's a lot of what we do as adult learners. We wait till the last minute. Okay, so tonight is Tuesday. You're going to leave out here tonight. You say, well, I really don't have anything to do this weekend, so I'll just bring it up. Yep. yep, that's the manual. <laughs> I don't work this weekend. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> because you don't know what the traffic is going to look like when you wait to leave five minutes to go to work just because you live five minutes away. Oh, I only live five minutes away, so I got time. But y'all know what? We live in Charlotte. Yeah. It only takes two minutes for traffic to back up from your five. Now you're late and get on the current, and this is your third time. Don't wait. Take 15 to 30 minutes a day to work on your assignment. Even if it's the research part. Research is really the most ugly. Right? Research. Research. Research, and then 
don't know if you see it like me, I've already started the research the week before, because I usually have my classes on Tuesdays or on Thursdays. They kept moving the closer I got to graduating, they kept moving. But I already had the syllabus, I already knew what week four was about, and this is week two. I'm already prepared. That's me though. That's that's me. It worked for me because I wanted to get A. <coughs> I wanted to be a smart girl because I wasn't that girl in high school. So what I had to prove it to me. Mm -hmm. And because, and I, brought, I talk about this in the book. Miss Marjorie Ace, my book. I talk about this in the book. You know, I was not that girl. You know, I was a pretty girl, so you know what that means. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get by on your looks. <laughs> <laughs> and I had long hair there too, I was just saying. But now that I'm an adult, I understand my looks ain't gonna get everything for me. You know, I gotta get some work done. So now I do this even now today. I do I write about this in the book. Fifteen minutes of college it takes. Even fitness. If you're not a fitness person and you say I don't have time to work out, fifteen minutes. That's all you need. Fifteen minutes of walking around the block every day. So 15 minutes of research, okay. you know, at lunch, are y'all allowed to do sir? No. We walk on the walk to the show. Yeah, we can get you. <laughs> See, you have your work in your student department right there, your classmates. That's awesome. And they have all their work turned in all the time. <laughs> the teacher's pets, that's what you say. <laughs> That's my logo. Framework. That's who I am right there. That looks like a smile, doesn't it? Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next, let's <Last> see. <laughs> Study at the same time if possible. Mm. That's hard. That's really hard. That's why it says no. Now, how many of you get off work at the same time every day? What do you do when you get off? Come in here. Come in here. How many days do y'all come to school? Three days or four. <coughs> Father. Uh -oh. Okay, well, y'all really need that. So you know what happens? You have no life until school is over. Yes. 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 Basically. Okay, so you already know that, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I ain't supposed to be there. <laughs> and it's been three years? Oh, wait, no, you're in denial. I, I, I've been in denial, too. I've been in denial. I've been trying to, I'm trying. I'm trying to. But how do you, how do you have a life, even yeah. with schooling? Full-time school and full-time job. I know. Hey, but you signed up for this, though, didn't you? So you already knew the sacrifice you were going to have to make. I told my son Sunday, my son's 35, he's here, and he's like, Mom, now he texts me at 2.30. He says, what time's the funeral? Now it's Mother's Day, y'all too busy. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> Aaron's ready, no problem. He said, okay, Mom, we, we, um, we had lunch with Aaron, so we're gonna be on the way. Has he got there yet? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I missed the whisper part. <laughs> he says, I'm not the reason why I'm late. Oh. And I don't say to him, don't be mad about what you already know. Mic up. You know you got to be in the plane before you know you. He was trying to be mad at his wife because yeah. she was the reason she's late. Well, you already know she don't get up to one. You already know that. You already know she's slow. You already know that I'm married. <laughs> you know you got to I'm in. The moment long going in. Get out. Ow. Oh, 
Ouch. All right. Why be mad at looks? And I have to tell myself that, too. Why be mad about what you already know? True. So, why are you mad because you're not going to have a life because you signed up for school? Don't be mad about what you already know. It's not going to happen. True. But I'm just saying, don't even let it be a concern because you already have the thought, get over it. Yep. <laughs> Pull it in and say, okay, <sighs> let me get this together because I know it's going to be long for me. Email. Do y'all still do email? I do. Yes. I do. You see what I'm saying? And you have paper, and you have paper, and you got paper that are not for you. We just looking out for you. Okay. All right. So, when are you most alert? When are you most alert? I'm a morning person. I wake up happy. Ready to go. Morning. Four thirty. Four thirty in the morning. Four thirty. It's me and Jesus. And we just have a good time in prayer. And I'm reading my books, and I'm writing in my journal. I got my little worship music going on. You know, it's just me and Jesus. And then I start thinking, I get up and I'm like, no, honey, there's no snooze button here. Now, y'all, Miss Marjorie, know. About 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. They, they know that about me, too. It's a wrap, man. I ain't got nothing to say. So we're going to get this done real quick. Because by 8 o'clock, I'm going to be delirious. you <laughs> laughing and cutting up. <laughs> but know your, know your best time. If morning is your time, then make it happen. If evenings is your time, then do it. If you want those night owls and you do your best work at night, then do it. Don't put it to the side. Nobody's going to do it for you. Unless you're going to pay somebody online. Like these good people. I'm just saying. I mean, there's a whole lot of stuff. Um, don't be sitting down and routine. Don't don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but you will become a pro at being productive when you monitor and manage your time. I went home for lunch today because the little shirt I had on, I just went to Sunday because I'm going to wear it all day. So I went home because I only live 10 minutes from work. So that whole five minute thing, I don't want myself. Because I can be home at at, I'm supposed to be work at 8 o'clock. I can leave work at a quarter till 8 and still get the work done. But I leave work at 7.30. So I can get and say, hey, good morning. Oh, no. They be like, oh my God, Miss Lisa's here. <laughs> <laughs> not now. <laughs> We're so not ready for you. I say, you guys already know I'm going to come in every night. <laughs> so, <laughs> so even if you don't have homework every night, use some time. Don't let a day go by and you haven't touched or you haven't looked at an assignment, or you haven't started some research. Make sure it's a priority. How, how many of you guys have your children yet? Good. <laughs> I don't have no brain, so I'm still waiting. Um, take advantage of free time, lunch. You don't always have to be sitting and chitting and chatting, you know. Get your work done. Man, I would have I had my lunch when I was at <coughs> TDH. Even when I was at Novant, because I was the manager at Novant, so I could open my door and do what I need to do. At TDHA with my my salad, my papers, and my computer and my headphones making it happen. And they were okay with it. They were okay with it. And they knew I was listening. They were okay with it. Didn't you? And when we went on um, church trips or whatever, we had to go minister, you know, sing. I had a nice little computer. I have a hot spot on my phone. And a grilled chicken breast. And a <laughs> headphones and making it happen. Making it happen. But that's just me. Focus on high impact activities. Value. So what do you think this is about? How important is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you all have a points per assignment? 
or is it just one time? Like, it, I've seen it do that. Two points for class participation. So mm -hmm. that's three yeah. points for, for this and four points for that. It's just for the assignment. For the assignment, yeah. okay. So in Phoenix, so if you sat in class and said nothing, you didn't get two points. Because they got really strict with it. Because you get two points for just showing up. But no, no students were involved. So you, they started giving us stuff to do in class. When y'all get together as teens and y'all, you know, the whole hands-on thing, and y'all work it out. And that's how people began to get their two points. So what was the value? And then we had to do um, team assignments, and you had to talk about what you learned the night before and write a paper about it. So if you weren't listening and or asking questions, you were lost. You were lost. So Phoenix actually made it where you had to get involved or you didn't get your two points. And then your team's going to be mad because the team points have to gather and to leave. But then the professors will do the work. Stay focused on your coursework. Make a list to get an overall picture of your workload before you start. Okay, so that comes to planning things. So you all get syllabuses, correct? All right, so there's no excuse, right? Right. right, no excuse for not knowing assignments. When they're due, what the word count is, how many references you're supposed to have, and not Wikipedia. Oh, Miss Lisa, they get a graded assignment pack as well, <laughs> and it tells every <laughs> assignment really? that they're graded for. No. Yes, wow. it's a wonderful thing.
And if it's okay with your teacher, free of video. <laughs> I'm, I'm good at PowerPoint. As you can see. I always got to do the PowerPoint. And then one time we had one girl, she was better than me. Mm -hmm. I was like, wait a minute, I don't See, this was her. <laughs> <laughs> that teamwork. And she did that PowerPoint too. I mean, I was like, girl, you need to show me how you did that. You know, I'm not in big no videos. <laughs> I didn't know how long you stand up this morning. <laughs> but I was good at writing. She was good at, at the PowerPoint. And Norman was good at the research. So if you know you're not good at something, don't be shy to do it. Be creative. Be creative with the videos. Tell you. <laughs> and I'm praying. <laughs> Is it getting close to April? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do do videos though. I do them for real. For um, I do a segment called Finding Peace Within. So I talk about staying centered in your spiritual life and being authentic. Be who you are. Be who you is. Set with a friend and communicate. If you are having problems, don't you sit up in here knowing you got absolutely nothing out this class and walk out that door. And then come back the next week and say, I, I ain't got it. <laughs> we need to really appreciate what we have. I don't know why I'm saying that, but that is true. As adults, we have the control of what we do. Mama's not going to say, you get your homework tonight. Daddy's not going to come in and say, get off that phone. You remember? Miss Marjorie, I know you remember her name. Some of y'all might remember. The blurry phones with the low cords and the <laughs> Nobody monitoring you, what you're doing, when you're out doing whatever it is you're doing, and you know you got this in front of you. It's not even behind you yet. It's in front of you. And you walk by it every day. You know why? Because you can't stop. You don't have any time to stop. You don't even know where to start. But have you called Naji? Well, yeah. you know. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. Let me zoom. <laughs> 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 See, these are her classmates. Yeah. I mean, her students. Now, where are you in your program, Miss Sharon? She's in my class. Yes. So, this is your. <laughs> Compare notes and predict test questions. And we used to do this in our group. Even when we didn't, I mean, we would just get together at each other's homes, our Panera Bread, or McDonald's, and use their Wi Fi. It's mm -hmm. free, you know. Mm -hmm. So you can just, you only have to use your data on your computer or your phone. You don't have to use my hotspot because it was free. Starbucks. And we would just get there and we would just chit chat. I was like, what's she talking about? I really didn't get this part. And I'm telling you, 
team, we, we were a strong team until we got close to graduating and then we kind of split. Because now our, our degrees were different. Our focuses were different. So the classes started to break up and, we, and Tucson and Norman <coughs> had been with me from the beginning. I mean, we were in orientation together for three years. We were together, team, everything. And when our classes started to split up, he said, we talked to him. <laughs> it was about me. And I was like, yo, dude, I don't do research good. Where you going? He was like, Miss Lisa, he's in there. Like, he's in the kitchen. He's like, oh, you know, we've been working together for so long. We got another <laughs> And he said, and he said, he didn't say that. He said, pretty much he said, I only say it to you. So, he said, I only say He just needed a place. I didn't got no kids, no wife, no girlfriend, no but two dogs. What in the world's going on in your life? <laughs> 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 my thought process. I don't know what to say. Big man, what's going on? I mean, he was big, he was huge. I was just like, oh, you know. He was just, I have to edit that part, too. He was just, <laughs> 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 Steve would not watch that video. Um, consider joining a study group. We talked about that. If you have concerns and you're really just not getting it, call your teacher. They really do care. I, I will like to repeat and believe they really, really do care. They just really do want to see you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They are not the enemy. And I found that out. They're really not the enemy. I would email them. Say it again. Well, we're not going to throw shade on them. We're going to just keep it straight. We're going to be nice and we're going to do it with a smile. Um, talk to your teacher about it. Even if you need to call the advisors and say, look, this is just not working. What else can we do? I have an algebra one teacher in Florida. She didn't care. She gave us 120 exercise every class to homework. And she wanted to see the work. And 124 kids in college with have no responsibility. It's okay. Yeah, that's fine. But now for adult people to have all the, uh, I used to have three classes. And I work 11 hours a day from Monday to Saturday. And if you give me 120 exercise for algebra one, mm -hmm. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, so, what did you do? 85% uh, of the class failed. Mm -hmm. Only me and all the two students passed for D. Wow. That's all we can get. Because I found a website online that you could do the exercise. So, all the three students who paid, they, they were my friends because mm -hmm. we always go together. And then I let him this we we got to do this for this because that's the only way we can pass. And then she get fired. She never teaches the hanging one PT. Because she and, and you would tell her it's too much. I was like, well, welcome to college. This is what it is. Yeah. Like okay, but <coughs> don't be so rude. Yeah. Like, you gotta be conscious of what you what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Empathy, compassion, we take part of that. If I tell even as an adult, was like teacher, boy, exercise. Mm -hmm. I was, they were not sure. They, it's algebra one. It's long. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's okay. Twenty, but one hundred and twenty every class. And when uh, when students fail like that in class. <coughs> But you know, when you
you have teachers like that in in most of in the classes failing, um, the higher ups see that. The deans see yeah. that. Yeah, and they the know. They, they know. Trade. That's never good. went back to our teachers. That's a good thing because you really, as a teacher, educator, whatever you want to call it, you really have to care. And if you if you don't care, you cannot be a teacher. That's just all. You, know. you cannot celebrate your achievements. Mm. Success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in. He's named down here somewhere. He's going to take care of for But that's what success is. Success is the sum of small efforts. 15 minutes a day. Right? 15 minutes a day, small efforts that you repeat every day. Right? Oh, you saw them already. Yeah. Yeah. I worked out just them <laughs> Day in and day out, every day. So when you've done it, reward yourself for hitting those milestones, right? <laughs> Create your own certificate. And this is something I, I listen to TED Talks. Y'all know about TED Talks? Yeah. So I listen to TED Talks. I wrote about that in the book. Yes, you did. I did. <laughs> and that's where I got the 15 minutes. Smile show up succeed every day. And you remember I did a presentation on it. Yes, you last did. Year. Uh, two years ago. Hmm? Two years. Two years. What? Oh my God. Okay, take your night off and go to the movie. That's only when you're working. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> It makes all of us cranky when we don't have fun, you know? At least for me, because I like having fun, like having like going places and doing things. Take a long walk, just breathe. Mm -hmm. Like a night, like, we're not talking about tonight. Well, it's a little shade, it's probably cool now. Just like, whew, and I'm in a cool way, so my thoughts aren't flowing, and I'm just take a break, depending on what neighborhood you live in. You know, <laughs> take a walk. <laughs> <laughs> Three of them in your life. You want to know? Not a 
dull moment in your class. <laughs> they keep me awake. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. So, my sister, Flora, she asked me to dedicate my book I was on North Tryon where the, um, the train station, Amtrak is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said, let me go try to pull over. So I said, what do you need for a book bag? She said, for a book bag. I said, what's your book bag? She said, for a book bag. At home. And my dad, I'm like getting all chills right now. And it's been 10 years. I'm going to say mortgage. It's like a mortgage. <laughs> it's more than my mortgage, actually. But however, I have really, I have, this is an awesome, don't you think? 